Hey guys, today on Aiden's World, I'm going to be showing you how to add custom themes to your Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 3DS XL, Nintendo 2DS, New 3DS, New 3DS XL, and New 2DS XL. To take your theme from looking like this, to make it look like this. So let's get started. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you how to make the themes. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download this template that I will be providing in the description below to make your custom themes. So guys, for the first step, you're going to go right here into your themes and then we're going to be using this theme that I've made here that already comes with some images for the wallpaper and a background music track. You can make your very own theme using this folder right here that already has all the folders and stuff set up for you to make your very own theme any way that you would like. But anyway, now let's make a theme. So we're going to be using this theme right here. And I already got some media in here with some background images and I'll be showing you the resolutions that you'll need to use to make these pictures for your 3DS and also how to add the music file. So first up is the images. So for the top display right here, you're going to need to have your picture at 400 by 240 to add it to your home menu. And then for this one, this is the bottom display wallpaper, which you will need to have a 320 by 240 resolution. So for the file image, you're going to use a resolution of 48 by 48. And for the folder open and close, you're going to be using the image size of 128 by 64. So I've already provided templates to make to make these folder icons in the root of the zip file you downloaded right here. All right. So now let's move on to the second step, which is actually making the theme file itself. You're going to go back out to the main folder of that zip file you downloaded. And then you're going to go up here to the 3DS theme editor. So you're going to go right here and open up this exe. So a window like this should pop up on your screen. So this is the actual program that allows you to make and design your very own 3DS theme. So now let's go back to our theme folder and let's import our stuff. So let's import our top display image. So let's import this one right here. There we go. And then we'll import this one right here for our bottom display. So there you go. That is how you add the wallpapers to your 3DS theme. So for the next step, you're actually going to save the theme in the folder. So now let's press save as. And then you're going to go back into the main folder of your theme and then click on this folder right here and save it. Or you can save it wherever you like on your computer. But just to let you know, you're going to need to put this theme file in its own separate folder away from everything else so that you can keep it organized considering that this program is going to make a few additional files and also to add the background music you're going to have to add an additional file to this folder. Now let's press save. All right. So for the large icon that is going to be right here and then you're just going to click import go back to your media go back to images and import this right here so now that is going to be that icon right there and now you're going to 
import your folder open and close images. So now that we've imported the folder icons, you will notice that the folder has not changed. And that's because we did not enable the flag for it. So go under the flags tab right here. Do you see all these different things right here disabled? So we're going to enable sound effects, background music, demo text color. We're going to enable this and a few others. So we're not going to enable file texture for right now. We can go ahead and add your own file texture into your theme. So if you're not sure what, what sizes to make your images for your theme, just simply go under the image tab and hover over one of the things you want to import, which it will then give you a few resolutions that you can actually use for that specific thing. But either way, let's keep going and let's finish enabling the rest of these things. All right, there we go. So now if you go over to the colors tab right here, you're going to notice that there's a lot of boxes that, that are just the same color. So in the boxes that are not grayed out, you can click on this uh, arrow button right here to make this color palette show up. And these colors are actually generated from the top and bottom display um, images. So you can pick any color you want from those or you can simply go under advanced and pick any color you want with the RGB slider, this um, color picker thing, and the hex code. And simply go back to the palette, just click on palette. So for the rest of these colors, I'm going to just import them using a metadata file. Make your very own uh, metadata file to copy colors and flags to different themes that you've made. And all you got to do is simply click on export colors or export flags and then just select the location to save them. And then to import them, just click import. So I already have a colors.meta file right here and a flags.meta file right here. So you got to be careful not to accidentally press export instead of import. It's like I did right there. And I will be providing these files along with this template theme that you could try them out yourself. All right, so now that we have finished making the main part of our theme, let's save before we lose any of our progress. So let's go here and click save. Now it says theme saved successfully and don't worry about this because this just means that if you try to um, put it on a 3DS, the 3DS um, won't be able to find the music file and the theme won't work if you have the uh, background music thing enabled. So we'll be getting to that background music thing in just a second, but for right now we're going to add our info right here. So you can add an author, a short description which is pretty much the name of your theme, and then a long description which can't be very long. but you can have quite a bit in there. All right, there we go. So now let's go and click save. And now let's make the music for this. So simply minimize this uh, for right now and go back over to your file. So I've already provided this song right here, which is just a simple MP3. Now what you're gonna do with your MP3 or WAV file is simply open it in Audacity or a music program of your choice they can change the amount of hertz that it, the song has. So here in Audacity, in the bottom left corner, you're going to click on the project rate hertz, which is the HZ right here. You're going to select 2250. And if the song is still too big and it's greater than um, like 3.2 megabytes, I believe, then um, the 3DS won't read it. It'll just give you a error message. So what you're going to do there is you're actually going to take this number and reduce it to 20,000 or keep dropping it until the file actually works. But since this one works perfectly with the 2250 Hertz, we're going to leave it like that. 
So now we're going to go under file. We're going to go under export and export it as a wave. So now we're going to just take this file and rename it BGM in lowercase dot wave. And then we're going to have the encoding as a 16 bit PCM. Alright, so now that we've done that, before you close Audacity or your audio editing program, what you're going to do to add an extra feature to it, because in some of the 3DS theme importers for your console, it has the ability to actually let you preview the soundtrack that you have built into your theme. So in order to have that preview available, you're going to need to export this sound again as an AUG file. So you're going to name it bgm.ogg and then you can just have the quality at 10 because it really doesn't matter for that one. And then you can close your audacity or your sound editing program. Now you're going to simply drag the bgm.ogg into your theme folder that contains your actual theme file, which is this one right here. And then the bgm.ogg is just going to go in this folder. So now you're going to go back to the root of the um, zip file you downloaded, and then you're going to go under bgm converters, and then you're going to go under BRSTM converter 3.41 and launch this file right here. So that will bring up this program right here and then you will simply click tools and then click this button and then you'll select your bgm.wave. And of course you can preview it right here to see if it works and how it sounds. So just to let you guys know it is going to drop the um, sound quality when you actually uh, drop the Hertz in Audacity or your sound editing program just to let you guys know. So now you're simply going to press OK and make sure that loop up here is actually enabled because if you if it's not then it's just going to stop after it plays once. But anyway let's click OK and then it's going to say encoding and then you're going to click OK once again and select your bgm.wave file. So now it's creating the output, which you'll find right here under the output folder where that program was. There's going to be a bgm.brstm file right here. So now you're going to just copy that and paste it um, anywhere like your desktop. Just have it in a good place because now we're going to have to find it with this next program called BRSTM, the number two, and then BCSTM. So that file type to that file type. So now you're going to launch this program. So now you're going to have to find that file. So if you put it on your desktop, it makes it a lot easier to actually access the file. So now you're going to select it and you're going to click open. And now it's going to make this file right here, which is going to be bgm.bcstm. So now you can go back to your theme right here and go back to your theme, the folder where your theme file actually is, this .bin file. And then you're going to take that file we just made and drag it in here. And then you can simply delete the rest of these. Now that we've done that, we can go back to the theme editor program and click load. Now that you've done that, you'll want to save it real quick. And then of course you will want to press play to try it out. So just simply press play and make sure it works. All right, so it seems to be working right now so as long as it works and the program is able to load it then that means you did it right so now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to click save once again just to make sure that we saved everything and then we're going to close up the program so now that you're finally done with that 
you're going to want to eject your 3DS or 2DS SD card and plug it into your computer because that's how we're going to add the Steam to our 3DS. So I'll be right back in just a second once I've connected my SD card. Alright, so here is my 3DS's SD card. So just to let you guys know before you go any further is that you will actually need to homebrew your 3DS in order to apply your theme. The reason why is because in order to import it you're going to have to use a special theme importer. But in my case I'm going to be using Themely which I'll leave a link to in the description below so you can use it on your 3DS. But anyway, um, all you're going to need to do is make a folder called themes on your SD card which I've already done that right here. And then I already have a few themes here also. So now let's go over here and get our theme folder right here that contains our actual theme file. And then we'll just paste it right in here. Alright, so now that is our theme right there. Just open it up and make sure everything is still inside. And then simply eject your SD card and put it back in your 3DS so that we can move on to the next step. Alright guys, so now that you're on your 3DS, make sure that it's on this default theme right here by simply go, going under the home menu settings, clicking on change theme, and it's scrolling all the way down to the bottom and making sure that you have don't use a theme applied. Now you're going to go over to your preferred uh, theme installer, which in my case I'm going to be using Themely, but you can also use another one like this one too. So now we're going to launch Themely. And then I already have some themes right here. So this is our theme that we've designed right here. We can just press X for a full screen preview of what it will look like. And then of course for the BGM preview thing, you just press Y and it will play that OGG file that we've made. And also there is our information right there. This is the theme name, the description, and who it's by. Now let's just press A to install it. And then for Themely, you're just going to simply press start to exit. So if you press the home button, it's not going to do anything. So you're going to need to press start. And then it's going to do that. And then you're going to power off your console to apply the theme. Turn off the system and we'll be right back once it turns back on. Alright guys, so now our 3DS is back on. So there we go. There is our 3DS menu our custom 3ds menu so there is a bunch of other things you can do with this which is add custom sound effects and also add your very own um i believe you can make an animated wallpaper for this thing i don't know but there's a lot of different things you can do now that, that you know how to make custom 3ds themes so anyway guys, thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you'll never miss out on another video on Aiden's World. If you would like to find out how to add custom music to Space Engineers or how to get the Hylian Shield in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, I will leave a link to the tutorials playlist in the description below. But anyway guys, we will see you next time on Aiden's World.